All right, so this little clip is all about columns, all right? This, don't use them. Don't use this element. Unless you have users that are stuck in older browsers like Internet Explorer 11. If so, then yeah, go ahead and use this. That's totally fine. Use it. But if most of your users are using modern browsers, don't, don't use this. And there's still some Webflow templates that are using this, some older templates. Delete those right away. You don't need this. Now, let me explain. If I drag in columns, first thing, I'm very limited to how many columns I can create. Like this is the most columns you can create right here, six. What if you want eight? What if you want seven or, or five? I mean, you can do two, three, four, and six. Is this five? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's five. Okay, so it can do five, <laughs> all right? But like the sizing of it is also very limited. So this is a very old CSS code, all right? This columns element has been in Webflow since the beginning. Um, and, you know, times have changed and you don't need to use these, all right? So the actual code, the CSS code it's using is, if I click on one of them, and I expanded this to reveal that it's using floats, all right? So F CSS float is the old way to go about things. What's cool, um, what's cool about grid though, which is a better option, is you can become more, res uh, make a more responsive layout than this. So I've dragged in a grid and I can add as many columns as I want. So one, two, three, we can even, I don't know, let's do 12 columns. And then the spacing within them, we can play around with the gaps. All right, so I can go up and down on my pixel size on my gaps or just remove them all like that. And for responsiveness, let's go here. So let's say, hey, you know what? I wanna remove one of my columns for this breakpoint. Well. You can't, you can't remove any of them. You can only go like the same columns or make it landscape, right? Whereas grid, you can edit it and say, you know what? I don't need 12 columns. I need only, let's go to six. So I'm gonna delete each of the column. And there we go, now we're at six. And we can also play around with the, with the gap in between. And there you go. And if I go here, now they're all one column and it's like, okay, cool. I can do one column too. Delete, 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 delete. And there you go. So columns only use for IE 11 type browsers and for everything else use grid. And if you see columns anywhere in your template, immediately remove them or replace them with grid because you get more options and it's more for the modern browser.